tell if I'm having a bad bang day or if my bangs just look horrible every day now. Anyway, welcome to day 12 of Vlogmas. What are we doing today? Currently I am trying to get all of the clips onto my phone for yesterday's vlog. I haven't even started editing it yet. I know I'm really behind, sorry. I really don't know what I'm doing with my bangs today. They just look horrible. And I, there's really nothing I can do about it. We might try to fix them today. I might try to make them a bit thicker. I'm, I'm wondering if maybe, like, I just let some of, like, the, the further parts kind of grow a bit too long. And then they kind of became part of the side. And then the middle got really thin. I don't know. If you're deciding that you want to have bangs and, like, that's the thing that you want to do, really commit to it. Really decide, like, is this going to be my life for... The next few years because I decided to get bangs again in 2019 and it is now almost 2023 and I still have bangs and they are still really annoying like I love them I think I look really good with bangs but I also cannot stand them so I'm debating like do I want to go back to the curtain bang thing like do I want to go back to like pulling them off to the side what do I want to do I, I don't know I'm sure it's really exciting to hear me talk about my bangs for like three minutes um, anyway, I am currently about to start editing my vlogmas from yesterday, which will be fun. And I'm also in the middle of reading Know My Name by Chanel Miller. I am literally like at the 50% mark right now. It's a really interesting book. I talked a little bit about it in my last vlog. There's a kid that likes to run right past my window whenever he gets out of school with his buddies. And it scares, A, it scares the shit out of me every freaking time. Every time. Because there's like little like stepping stones right outside my window. And they're kind of just there for like aesthetic purposes, I guess. Like I didn't put them there. That was not my choice. Um, <laughs> but there's this kid that loves to run over the stepping stones, which I totally get. Um, all power to him. But he scares the shit out of me every time. And as you can hear, he gets my dogs going every time every time <laughs> that's kind of annoying they're just gonna they're gonna cry like that oh maybe they're gonna stop oh and it's kind of funny because they don't have like the dogs do not have a window that they can look out of right now because our house is so weirdly configured it doesn't make sense. Anyway, where was I? So I'm in the middle of Know My Name by Chanel Miller. Really great book, really great and important read. Um, I just ate some lunch. I just did the dishes already. I actually did my nails today as well. Look at how cute they look. So pretty. I like the color a lot. I think that they look really nice. I'm kind of wanting to do my advent calendar a little early today. So why don't we do that? Grabbed my advent calendar. So we're going to open one of these I think what is it the 12th today yeah today is the 12th um so let's find the 12th okay the 12th is in the middle right here close to the ballerina there we go Ooh, I wonder what shape this is gonna be I think it's a horn can we see the, the shape yeah I think it's a horn also, I feel like I should quickly talk about some of the like drama that has happened over on Instagram recently. I guess this has kind of been like an ongoing drama that I have not been a part of that I have no knowledge of before like yesterday, like last night. So as we all know, the book Babel by RF Kuang came out, what, just a little while ago, not even that long ago, maybe maybe a month ago, maybe a few weeks ago. Um, it has stirred up quite a bit of drama over on Instagram. And basically, if you know anything about Babel, literally even like the first thing about Babel, is that it is not only a dark academia book, but it is specifically a dark academia book that is tackling colonialism. It is inherently anti-colonialist. So with that in mind, you would probably kind of have a guess as to like, what is being talked about within the book, what themes are going to be explored, etc. 
you're, you, you really should know the stance of the book before you even pick it up. However, <laughs> these two bookstagrammers, one who considers themselves a literary critic, and another one who is a PhD, I don't know if they're a PhD candidate or if they have graduated at this point, I didn't really look too far into it, honestly. But they are both vehemently against the book. They did not like this book. And the reason that they didn't like this book is because of its anti-colonialist stance. It was a little too aggressive for them. And not only that, it's the fact that they felt like this book was quote unquote racist against white people. That all of the white characters in this book were quote unquote evil, etc, etc. And they specifically point out this one white character who is kind of part of the group, part of like the main group within the book. And they seem to really identify with her. And they really misinterpret not only her character, but also the plot of the story and also the themes of the story. It's just a whole mess. These people did not understand Babel even a little bit. But despite all of that, despite their misunderstandings, despite their misinterpretations, they decided that they would be going on to Bookstagram and ranting about the book and calling RF Kuang racist against white people, etc, etc. And it's been just a huge drama. It's absolutely wild. These people are just so intensely incorrect about the book and about the intentions of the book. Both of the reviews can basically be boiled down to that they just did not want to read a book that was going to challenge their perceptions of race and weren't going to challenge their perceptions of colonialism and the ways in which white people benefit from colonialism, white supremacy, racism. That was just a little too hard for them. So they decided to make it Bookstagram's problem <laughs> and all of our collective problems. So um, it's been a it's been a day. I did tweet about it, and that tweet got quite a bit of attention, mostly positive attention, I will say. But I did end up muting it, so I literally do not know what's going on with that tweet at the moment. But yeah, so that's kind of a little bit of an update. I I really wanted to let you guys know about all of that. Other than that, I don't really know if I have anything else to update you all on. I'm just going to go ahead and start editing yesterday's vlogmas and make sure to post it as soon as possible. And I will come back later once it's all uploaded and posted to kind of do an update then. So I'll see you guys in maybe like an hour or so. Okay, so we went and got an iced coffee when my mom came home and it was delicious. I was going to get a chestnut praline but then I decided to get the caramel brulee which I don't typically get and it was really good honestly. I genuinely liked it. They were out of soy milk this time which I usually get because I love soy milk but they had oat milk so I got oat milk and it was delicious. And then we were going to put up the Christmas lights on the tree but none of our lights are working. Even though, even like the newer ones that we found, we can only find one of the strands. And I'm pretty sure we bought more than one last year, so I don't know what's going on. We are probably just gonna have to buy all new lights for the tree, which is really annoying. But hopefully I can film that at some point, like getting to decorate the tree, we'll see. I'm just not feeling very good tonight. I have a bit of a migraine. My TMJ is really acting up right now, making my jaw so tight. Um, <laughs> So I think that we're just going to head off to bed. I'm going to have to go, you know, wash my face, do all my skincare, um, and then I will probably just, you know, go to bed, listen to a bit of my audiobook, which is Know My Name, obviously. And yeah, I think that's about all that we're going to do for the rest of the night. I will say that tomorrow is December 13th, which means that it is Taylor Swift's 33rd birthday. Oh my gosh, I can't believe she's 33. That's so wild to me because I've been a fan of her since I was probably like 12 years old, I want to say. Yeah, like 2006, 2007, so like 11 or 12. And my first favorite song of hers was Tim McGraw. 
I absolutely loved Tim McGraw from the moment that I listened to it. I've always been like a pretty like medium fan of country. Like I don't hate country. I'm not like the biggest fan of country, but I do enjoy a few artists and a few songs. My dad's a really big fan of country, so I grew up listening to a lot of country. Um, but I just automatically fell in love with Taylor from the moment that I heard Tim McGraw and then like of course Teardrops and our song and all of those other hits from her first album like just made me fall in love with her. And so it really feels like I've grown up with her and it's just so mind boggling that she's 33 now. 33? I just, I can't believe it. Um, my Sagittarius queen. So I'm going to try to do as many Taylor Swift themed things tomorrow as I possibly can. So hopefully you guys can come along with me and do that. Maybe I'll recommend some Taylor Swift-esque books. That might be a lot of fun. So I will try to plan some stuff out for tomorrow, see what we can do. And yeah, I think that's about everything that I have to update you all on. And I hope that you've all enjoyed today's Vlogmas. If you did enjoy today's Vlogmas, then make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, go ahead and follow me on all of the platforms that are listed in the description down below, and I will see you all tomorrow.